Hey guys, today um, I'm going to bring you a deck review of my all-time favorite deck, and even though I just got it, it's the Crown deck. Now, I know a lot of you are waiting for the pirate deck reviews, um, I'm going to get those to you as soon as I can, but they're, I'm having really mixed feelings about them, I don't know, I, overall I'd say they're a really big disappointment, so I'm trying to find a couple good things to say about them at least. So I'm working on that, I'll get that to you guys soon. And also a quick shout out to PN Nintendo Man. Um, I've been meaning to do this in the last, my last couple of videos, but I forgot. But he is my most, lo my most loyal subscriber. He comments on every single one of my videos. I know he likes them all, well, watches them all, and probably likes most of them. But he's a really nice guy, and he's really hardworking. He has like over 100 videos, and he puts out videos every day. And he's a really, really great guy. He has about uh, 200 subscribers, so he's not too far below me. But I want you guys to go check him out and subscribe to him. He's a really awesome guy. Okay, so now let's get into the deck review. So, here we have the Almighty Crown deck. Now, I know I actually did a little bit of research on this deck by watching a couple of reviews and looking on the website. But the Crown deck was made by a company called Blue Crown. Huh, isn't that ironic? But they're a relatively new company coming out. Well, actually, they are a new company coming out because it is the first deck they ever made. And they made it through the U.S. Playing Card Company. But they kind of took ideas from everywhere and put it together and make the deck, which I think is really cool. And it it's a really awesome deck. So I'll get more in detail on that in a second. But let's just start off with the box. So it says Crown Deck Playing Cards. And it has a little glimpse of the Ace of Spades and the back design up here, which I think is kind of cool how they integrate both of those. And on this side, it says U.S. Playing Card Company, made in the U.S.A., on this side, it says the Blue Crown, first edition. That's a nice little touch I think they have for like collectors and stuff. I think. Yeah, I don't know. I just I'm losing my train of thought. Well, <laughs> and on the bottom it says designed by Fracturize. Don't know what that means. Maybe it's a uh, nickname for the artist, something like that. And there's just a little copyright information on the bottom, and absolutely nothing on the top. Now another real quick thing about. Oh, sorry, I forgot. Then gives you a little glimpse of the back design, which I'll get into more detail when I pull out the cards. But this box kind of feels like cheap in a way. Like it's not really a high quality box. Like uh, let's see what we got here. Like the Sentinel box here, like it's embossed, and then it's like made of different kind of thing. It doesn't really feel cardboardy. It's a really really nice box, and they're really not really nice cards. And then doo -doo -doo, what do I have? And even just like on a standard bicycle deck. Like this box, this is a classic box. And this is like a normal card box feel. This kind of feels more plasticky almost and a lot cheaper. So, and also it's beat up because I carry around this deck everywhere. But yeah, it's just, I don't know why they did that. Because the cards inside the box are absolutely amazing. So, oh. Also, there's no seal, and on the thumb flap it says thebluecrown.com. Now, again, I'm pretty sure that these cards are sold out. I'm lucky that I got this one. Um, I don't know on their website if they'll have any more. Uh, I, my best uh, guess would be to try eBay. Uh, probably from like a, just a private seller or something like that. I don't know. It'd be on Poker World or Poker Stud 52 would have this deck. All right, so let's get into the back design a little bit. Um, they said, the Blue Crown said on the website that the back design was Tally Ho inspired. And my best get is, that's where they got this little circle from. Now, I don't have any Tally Ho circle backs, so I'm not sure if that's the exact circle on the back. But it is a really, really cool touch, and that's what I think they mean by Tally Ho inspired. Now, actually, if you take a closer look, I'm going to try to get as close as I can without getting out of focus here. The outer row, right inside the circle... Is spades, and the next row in is diamonds, and then the little itty bitty circle in the middle has spades, diamonds, and then there's a row of hearts and clubs alternating, and there's hearts and clubs in the middle. Again, I don't know if that's on a real tally ho circle back because I don't have a tally ho circle back, but I think that's really really awesome. Then you have the two crowns, obviously for the blue crown, and they actually integrated the four suits into the crown, which I think is a really nice touch and looks really cool. Then in the corners, there's kind of like a little flourishy kind of effect, which is really nice. And there's a really, really cool, like, 
dark blue color to it, like a navy blue. And I think it's really, really nice and makes the cards look really awesome. Okay, so let's see what you get with it. You get uh, this really cool ad card, actually. It has a little chrome crown on it that says thebluecrown.com, which I think is nice. And then you also get a nice little gap card, double backer, my favorite. And here's the two Jokers. Now, these Jokers, I really like them a lot. Um, they're 100% identical, which is really cool um, for, like, certain tricks and stuff. That if you don't uh, have two of a deck and you want to use duplicates, and just use the Jokers. And, I mean, these Jokers are subtle yet elegant. And I, I really like them a lot. They, um, I wouldn't say, like, near my favorite Jokers. That'd be... Oh, gosh, I don't even know what my favorite Jokers would be. But they're definitely really, really cool Jokers. Like, just because they're not really, like, flashy, but they're really, really nice still. Okay, and then we get to, oh, the Ace of Spades. I gotta say, this is probably one of my, if not my favorite, Ace of Spades. Uh, just, the pattern is really cool, and just, it's really big on the card, which I like a lot. It takes up the entire card, which I think looks really, really awesome. And at the bottom, it just says the crown deck. So that's really cool, Ace of Spades. Now, as for the rest of the cards, um, they used Arco Faces on the deck, which I thought was kind of interesting, because, you know, usually uh, companies that make them through the U.S. Playing Card Company will just use Bicycle Faces, like the uh, the Pirate deck, the, the Pirate decks, the company that made those used uh, Bicycle Faces, obviously, because it's a bicycle deck. But, yeah, they used Arco Faces, so you're going to see pips that are a little more rounded, and you'll see a different font for your numbers, and then your court cards are going to look a lot different. Um, I wouldn't say they're, like, fatter than court cards, that is, but uh, they just have a totally different feel to them than uh, than bicycle cards or tally-ho, because they have the same kind of faces. Yeah, but that really doesn't bother me that much. I still love these cards for that. And now let's get to my favorite part of it, the handling. These cards handle amazing. Uh, they have the new magic finish on them, which has only been used on two other decks, and that was the Gargoyle deck by Lance T. Miller, awesome deck, and the Magicon deck, which David Dan Buck made only like, I forget, it was like 250 or 500 of them. No, they make, oh, that's a terrible fan. Worse than my usual ones. <laughs> um, yeah, Dan and Dave Buck only made like uh, 250 or 500 of them. They're, um, you know, because they've been making doing a lot of things with things in the limited quantities that you can have to buy right now or they're gone. And when I try to buy them, they're always gone. <laughs> but yeah, this finish is just absolutely amazing. Um, I've never really felt anything like it. Like, I wanted to compare it to a Tally Ho at first, but it wasn't. Um, even, like, really good air cushion finishes, like, aren't even close to this. It's just an awesome finish. Because, like, you can feel the texture on the card, so it's not, so it's like an air cushion finish in that sense. It's not a smooth finish like on an Aviator deck or a Streamline deck. But it is... I don't know. I can't really put my finger on what makes it so awesome other than just the cards. They just feel so smooth in your hands. It's really, really awesome to use them with. And the stock isn't too heavy. It's not too thick. It, I think it's absolutely perfect. Um, I really don't have a preference to stock. I mean, I like my Ryujin deck, and that has really, really thin cards. But, you know, that, that really doesn't bother me. As long as I can get a good double lift with them, which I can in these cards. Oh, actually, that was a bad one, but... <laughs> you know, as long as I can get a good double lift with the cards, I'm, I'm fine with their stuff. But yeah, these cards are really awesome, and they're really durable, too. So I've been playing with them a lot the uh, past couple days. I'm going to say they're holding up really good. Um, so yeah, that is my review of the Crown Deck. If you guys have... What the heck am I doing? If you guys have any other questions, feel free to uh, leave a comment or PM me even uh, asking about the deck. It's really, really great. And, um, yeah, that's all I got on the deck. And just another little thing on the side. Um, for those of you who don't know or can't figure it out, I really love contests, like entering contests on YouTube. So if any of you, like, find a really cool contest... And I'm not talking one of those that's like, oh, guess the card, and you get a deck of bicycle cards. No, I'm talking, like, lots of decks, lots of places. That's the kind of contest I like. If you find any out, PM me. I'll see you next time.